Okay, so here's a proof of concept video concerning issue number 124 for paperize um, concerns um, adding back oh, back sites to uh, cards and other components. So I have a project here, a game called Front and Back Again. I have cards, uh, 52 of them uh, from this uh, spreadsheet. I'm using some kind of standard placeholder stuff. This is hearts, spades, clubs, and diamonds for two to ace. I have text to put on the front, uh, which is title and description, but I also have a text I want to add to the backs of the uh, cards. So let's have a look at this. I have my cards. Let's edit this component. I have title. I have the description. And I have a backside text, which is right now hidden. I would like this to be on the back side. So if I hide the front, I would like the backs to look like this. Um, displaying which uh, suit it is on, on each of the cards like this, but nothing else. So this has to match with the fronts when printing this to a PDF. And I made a small function for this. Let's have a look. Uh, going to copy this thing here and add it to the Google uh, Apps script thing. In this uh, spreadsheet, I can open up this JavaScript coding environment, which allows me to add new functions to the uh, spreadsheet. So I delete everything here, and I paste in the code I copied, and I save like this. Now I have a new function here, which is it's called generate backsides. And it takes front layer data, back layer data, and then I can set number of uh, rows and columns per page and also tell this to flip rows or columns for the backsides. To use this, I create a new sheet. Let's call it fronts and backs. And up here in this cell, I type, what was it called, generate backsides equals generate backsides. And then I take the uh, front data. So I here select these two rows, columns, sorry, comma, backside stuff here. And that is enough. I, I just quit here end parenthesis and press enter and it reads data from this my card uh, uh, tab and it creates uh, by default it, it assumes uh, three uh, three by three cards on each um, uh, each sheet so it takes now nine cards and adds the front stuff and then it takes nine cards and adds the back sides for these nine cards above. Take nine more cards, and as we can see, four spades, and then the rest is hearts. And so it goes on and on and on and on. And here at the end, we can see uh, we have, I wonder if this will work. Well, it does work, apparently. Uh, it adds two blank rows here because it needs that to, to match with the back sides. That's kind of good. OK, so now here in the paper as project, let's close this. Let's take this one and change from using my cards to, let's reload, find the new tab, fronts and backs. OK, now, now you can see we have 106 cards instead of uh, 52. So if we print this, oh, sorry, this was not part of the plan. Everything's, everything goes slowly when I'm not connected to the VPN on this computer. OK, so files. So we now have 
not really what I wanted because I turned off the visibility of these uh, layers here. Let's do this again then. So we have fronts and backs. Let's print again. Like we did last summer. Place, why not? Okay. So here are now, okay. We can see that we fit four in uh, on each row and two rows on each uh, page. So let's uh, adjust this here in the front and backs page. We have the arguments here, front data, back data, and then we have number of rows, which is two, number of columns, which is four, enter. Then it rebuilds, takes eight here, and eight here. All right. Now that we know how many cards we get on each page, let's reprint because it's fun reprinting. Replace, please. Now, uh, let's also read this page uh, again. Now it should work. Okay, so we have four, uh, eight fronts, followed by eight back sides. Eight fronts. Note here: spades, 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 spades. Then hearts kicks in. In here we have the same spades, spades, and three hearts for the back sides. Almost done. If we want to print this uh, and we uh, print two-sided, front front and back, then uh, this will be, the back sides will be uh, flipped either hor horizontally or vertically. And uh, in order to, this, to match up then, because this will be on the right-hand side of the page, but when we flip it and print from the back, it should be on the left here. There are options for this as well in this generate backsides thing. Let's see that we use this correctly. First argument after this is flip back rows. Flip every row or flip every, no, flip, flip the rows or flip the columns. We're going to flip the rows. So let's change add an argument here saying true. Then it rebuilds. We can now see Back sides here are four spades, then three hearts, and the lost spades. Let's just print this again, just to make sure it works and we can see it fine. And I'm going to do one more thing just for the fun of it. So here we go, we printed this one out. Uh, and we get hearts on the right hand side on the front, but hearts on the left hand side uh, on the back side, which is exactly what we want. And here on the last page, we have actually four empty cards before printing the backs and everything just matches up. How nice. Um, let's add a, let's not actually, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. Uh, frames around the cards here would be nice but we might want to have different frames on the fronts and backs and actually don't have fr frames on the backs because we cut the cards uh, to have the fronts line up perfectly but then they won't probably line up perfectly on the backs because we, I don't have a good enough printer for that. So let's edit this template here. Let's add a layer which is a shape and let's have a stroke here, which is very thin. And let's have color, which is something, well, doesn't really matter. This. Uh, one millimeter from the edges. Very nice. Okay. Then. Uh, Note here that we have something called a magic property shape uh, colon stroke present. 
which can be true or false. So, uh, let's close this. And let's add here on my cards. What was its shape, right? Yeah, capital S, shape, stroke, present, wasn't that it? I'm doing it anyway. Stroke, present, yeah. So on the back sides, we don't want this uh, uh, present. So set this to false. Do this for all the rows here. Now on the fronts and backs here, let's take add this column, turning off the stroke uh, and add it to the back sides. So Let's do this to the F column. So the back sides are now, now have this data. Going back here to paperize. Here we go. Let's reload again here. Let's double check that this is picked up. Well, actually, we could just check here. Yeah, print the game again. And we get a frame on the fronts, no frame on the backs, because on the backs we have this extra property uh, added, which says that the stroke should not be present. All right, uh, so this is a demonstration of what you could do with this function here. I admit it's not 100% uh, user friendly, you need to kind of know what you're doing, but when you do, you can uh, print fronts and backs, and you can flip. Um, fronts and backs, no, the back sides, so they match up. Either you, you flip horizontally or you flip vertically, you can do both if you, for some reason, would like to. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.